Hey everyone, Presito here, your second favorite Uniswap app. So in today's video, I just want to cover how to use Uniswap, which has been asked uh, to me quite a few times, especially these past few weeks, you know, with the popularity blowing up. And I want to cover in this video what I wish I knew when I started using Uniswap. Hopefully it makes it easier for everyone that uh, isn't too clued up with how it works. So just a background on Uniswap. Basically, it's a decentralized exchange. And I think what blew it up is how easy the user interface is to use and the fact that anyone can list any token they want. I mean, you can list it, scammers can list it, so be careful for that. Uh, there's a lot of scams. So I'm going to also show you in this video how to avoid those because uh, like in my Telegram group, I see a lot of people that uh, unfortunately get scammed and it's very simple to avoid it. So I'll just show you how to do that as well. So to start off, let's go through the homepage. I recommend everyone to bookmark info.uniswap.org. Here's where you can search everything, see all the top pairs, uh, see how much liquidity is provided, total volume for the past 24 hours, and everything like that. So now let's go through how to trade a token and how it works with the pricing. So if we have to search a token, let's go with Bridge Mutual. I'm sure many people know that. So when you search it, you see it's a bit tricky to go through and a lot of the times these tokens can be scams but this one is really popular so most likely it'll be at the top which it is in this case and you can see it here so if you look at the home page the, this is the total liquidity that is provided for bridge mutual so when you trade the token there's people providing liquidity which means they provide 50 percent is bmi token which is the bridge mutual token and the other 50 percent is ethereum so when you buy uh, Bridge Mutual, you, they get more Ethereum and less Bridge Mutual token because they're selling it, of course. But they get fees on that and it balances out in the end. That's also one of the risks with providing liquidity, which I'll go through a bit later. Because if you provide liquidity, if the coin rugs, you'll have you know, only their token, hardly any Ethereum, and you, you lose your money. This is where it shows the liquidity. As you can see, it's been growing. Then you can see the volume that's been declining. Then here it shows the Ethereum to BMI ratio. So one thing to remember is you trading between Ethereum and Bridge Mutual token. So this looks like you might think the price is going down, but this means the price is going up because for one Ethereum, for example, on the 30th of January, you could get 800 tokens. Now you can get 370. So that means the price of BMI compared to F is going up, which is what you want. And if you go to the other way around, you know, it's going up. So this might be a bit confusing to some people, but ultimately your goal is to get more Ethereum back. And in this case, if you bought BMI on the 30th of January, you'd have got 850 tokens for one Ethereum and now you can sell it. It's 370 tokens per Ethereum, so you'd get like double your money. So hopefully that's all clear. Then if you want to actually trade BMI to Ethereum, you click here on trade. Here you will connect your wallet. If it isn't connected already, it will pop up here with connect your MetaMask account. You connect your account and you can trade. So one Ethereum gets me 380 tokens. So for example, if you buy, you hope that next week one Ethereum is 200 tokens. So you almost double your money. If the pricing is still confusing for you, then what you should do is you copy the contract address of BMI, which is at the top here. You go to Dex Tools, you paste it here, Bridge Mutual pops up, you search, and it's a much more simple way of seeing what the actual US dollar price is. As you can see, it tracks it from when it was listed, and it shows you all the trades, and I think that's maybe something to consider if the price on Uniswap is a bit too confusing for you. So next up, I actually want to cover how to make sure that you don't get scammed. So like I said before, if you search BMI here in the beginning, there might be six or seven tokens that pop up and you click on one and you think it's right, you trade, you get scammed. So in this case, you do the same thing. The team will provide the contract address always. Make sure you're on the correct telegram of the team copy the contract address of BMI and then paste it in the search and the real one will pop up. So that's one way to make sure you don't get scammed. Don't just search the name 
and go to it, always search with the contract address. Go through the extra effort of finding the contract address so you make sure you don't get scammed. Then if you have to do a pre-sale and you want to sell that, that's much more simple because then you can search. You'll have the tokens in your wallet, obviously. So when you search BMI and you, you know, it doesn't matter because you'll know it's the wrong one because it won't show your tokens. Whereas the correct one it will show the tokens. So that's how to avoid getting scammed. Then let's say you do a pre-sale, you get a BMI token, you're going to have to approve the token. This happens with all tokens you buy for the first time. So once you buy it, it'll pop up here with approve token. You simply just click it and confirm the transaction and then your token is approved. I might do another video in the future on how to pre-approve it, but that gets a bit more tricky as you need to interact with the actual contract. But that you don't need to know now. It's, you just simply approve it and then you will be able to sell it. Next up, I'm going to cover all the settings when trading. So this is something you need to be very careful about and something that a lot of people uh, struggle with. So let's say I want to buy one Ethereum of BMI. So here it will show me the minimum received. This is calculated based on what your slippage tolerance is at. And you need to be really careful with that because if it's too low, your transaction might get rejected especially if it's as tokens are listed because the price you know fluctuates so much that by the time you've clicked and confirmed your transaction the price has gone up over a percent and then it doesn't get confirmed however in this case you can see if i want to buy one ethereum of bmi it's going to impact the price 0.1 percent so my slippage tolerance at one percent is safe and the transaction will 99 percent chance go through so everything is in order for this. As you can see the settings, here's where you can put your slippage. I could even put it at 0 0.5 and it'll be fine, but I put it at one for this just to be safe. Then you click swap, then you click confirm swap and your MetaMask will pop up like this. You can edit your gas fee, slow average fast. Normally if you just do fast, you'll be fine. Obviously gas fees are very high at the moment. So you need to be careful about that as well. When you go to advanced, then you can make it a bit faster. If you if you worried your transaction might not confirm, you can increase your gas maybe a bit. Transaction fee will be higher, of course, but then more than likely you'll get your transaction confirmed in times of high fluctuation. Next up is sometimes certain tokens have burn function or rebase. And those type of coins, when you might try click swap, it might come up with an error. What I recommend you do there is increase your slippage. Make it 10%. Try again. If it doesn't work, make it 20%. Try again and eventually it will work. And in some cases, sometimes you just need to reduce the amount of tokens you sell. So if you want to, in this case, sell 385 BMI and it's not working, the slippage doesn't work either, try make it 360. See if it works. So for me, that has fix that error a lot of times. So that's something to keep in mind when your transaction is getting rejected all the time. So that's basically the slippage. So if it's at 20%, for example, you could be getting 20% less tokens or 20% more, depending on how the price fluctuates. So you need to be careful with the slippage. One thing to remember is your transaction can be front run by bots, which really plague Uniswap. So what happened to me as an example, it's a perfect example of what can happen. I forgot that my slippage was on 40%. I made a transaction to sell the token and I got 40% less <laughs> Ethereum. And I was like, oh my God, what happened here? I went to check, I realized my slippage, I forgot it at 40% and I got wrecked on that. So that's something to remember to <laughs> reset your slippage because it leaves it at 20% next time you trade. So set it back to 1% or whatever percentage you want to set it at. Because it is bots. And they will front run you and they'll get you wrecked like it wrecked me that one time. Then that brings me to the other setting here, which is expert mode. So this, if you are really new to Uniswap, I wouldn't actually even recommend you using that. As it says, it bypasses confirmation modals and allows high slippage trades. So if you put this on, you need to click and type in confirm here. So when I click swap now, it pops up straight to my MetaMask. It doesn't ask any confirmation or anything like that. But also, 
allows you to trade when your price impact is very high. So if there's very low liquidity for a coin, your price impact, for example, might be 50%. So most of the time, it won't let you swap if you don't have expert mode on. So that's also something else to consider. Next up, let's look at adding liquidity for a coin. So simply you go to the BMI info page, you click on add liquidity, and yet pops up. Say you want to put three Ethereum, then you need to put uh, 1,156 BMI as well. So you add both of those, and then as it says here, by adding liquidity, you'll earn 0.3% of all trades on this pair, proportional to your share of the pool. Fees are added to the pool, accrue in real time, and can be claimed by withdrawing your liquidity. So that's how to add liquidity is very straightforward. But remember the risks. You get impermanent loss, which I would suggest reading that up. If you don't know what it is, it's a whole new topic. But basically, if the price goes up and you holding it in the pool, you don't make as much gains as you would make just holding the token. Also, if the token does rug, you will lose your money anyways, even though you're providing liquidity. Because if you're providing one Ethereum and one Ethereum worth of their token, how it works is you get more of their token if they're selling it. So your Ethereum will go down if they rug and you'll lose your Ethereum. So that covers my review on how to use Uniswap. Hopefully it helped you guys. I think I covered everything I, I, I could have. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or uh, message me on Telegram. I'm always available there on my Telegram group. And as usual, thank you for watching. Leave a like and subscribe. Uh, join the Telegram group. And I'll see you guys next time.